hear a little bit about the background of the people that we interview. And I know you have a, sure. a, great, a great history as an artist and a, starting as a graffiti artist. You worked yes. with Glenn O'Brien, who I knew when he was alive. Oh, God. Oh, that was my, that's so cool. I was just, I've been yeah. talking about him. I've been doing press all day. And in, in that early period, along with hooking up with Chris and Debbie from Blondie, Glenn O'Brien was key. He hosted yeah. a public access TV show. Glenn was one of my main mentors in the beginning of all of this. Yeah. So, so, so how did you get into graffiti art? And well, graffiti, art? yeah, graffiti was an adolescent New York activity back in the 70s that kids in every neighborhood wrote their names all over the place. It was just a wild, crazy thing. But there were some kids, mainly from the Bronx and up in Manhattan and or different parts of Manhattan wanted to make their names bigger, more colorful, more elaborate. And that de developed into techniques using spray paint that were revolutionary. And you could cover the whole side of a train with a picture, an image, your, your name in gigantic letters. That became a raging thing in New York in the 70s that I took part in. But then I also had this, I used to cut school as a kid and go to museums, the Metropolitan, the Guggenheim, the Whitney. And I developed, I began to realize that, wait, these things we were doing were influenced by the same things that influenced the pop artists, magazines, logos, products, Warhol soup cans, all this stuff became like, wait a minute, wait, we should be looked, I want to be looked at as an artist like these guys, and how could I figure this out? And so connecting with Glenn O'Brien was a part of that mission, and Glenn getting it, liking the ideas um, introducing me to Chris Stein and Debbie, they were doing, you were working on the public access show. Jean-Michel Basquiat, me and him met right in that same time, like me from Brooklyn, similar background, similar age. We were trying to, he was trying to figure out how to be an artist as well. So we were like, yo, so we knew that these punk rock people, they were very open, you know, New Wave, Glenn, some of the people in these bands were very open-minded and, and embraced us and kind of mentored us and you know, with some of the first people to buy our work and give us gigs and shit. You know, Glenn made a movie called Downtown 81. Yeah, that I've seen featured it. featured myself, Jean-Michel, Basquiat, Lee Quinones, and all these other new wave people. So that was the beginning of it all for me. And, and you're, you're, even in, you're even in one of the Blondie songs, right? Yeah, well, the Rapture song, which I kind of inspired telling <laughs> Debbie and Chris all this stuff about what this new hip hop rap music was about. They went and made a song and gave me a shout out and really set the table for the whole hip hop music music movement because people would later go, wait a minute, that's that thing that Debbie was doing on that record rapture. So that set the table and also set the table for me working at your at MTV because when MTV, which wasn't really playing black music, um, got got wind that this stuff was growing they said well why don't we get this guy who's been in the rapture video they knew i was connecting with people and they said well let's give this show a try which became the highest rated show on mtv back then yo mtv raps and there i was that was never a plan i always wanted to be a behind the scenes guy but they ended up throwing me in front of the camera but i did that wild star ended up the same way the first film on hip-hop i was involved in they ended up put asking me to be in a movie which i was like not trying to do but the few extra dollars allowed me to get my first apartment um in the city like as opposed to taking that long train back home to brooklyn and so yeah but glenn o'brien was critical for me close friend a, a mentor that helped so much of what i was doing and trying to do at that time he's a key part of the story which i like to tell people that was my guy <laughs>